Hello everyone, today in this video, I'm about to show you how you guys can fix remote desktop connection on your Windows 11 Home or Windows 10 Home. It just work perfectly fine in both operating system. So type here Windows Ver if you don't know what's your Windows edition. So you can see that this is Windows Home operating system. So just click on OK. So these are the problems that you will get when you click on the show option. 00204 all right so to solve this issue it's really simple and also if you guys see on setting icon on my remote desktop you can access this on system and then click on this remote desktop and you can see that your home edition of windows 11 doesn't support remote desktop all right so let's fix this shit. all right so go ahead and google and then I'll just go to my description down below. You can type here RD, RDP wrap and this will take you to GitHub first page. So click this link, all right? And from here, you need to click this latest version here on release. So click this. And then you guys will need to click on this zip file, all right? Not MSI, but zip. So click on this zip file and it should download. Uh, Sorry, it's to download you the file. So click on show on folder. And this is how your file should look like. And you need to extract this first. Right click and extract all. You can extract this to download it folder. So extract this. And this is how it should look like. So this is the extracted uh, content that you get from the downloaded folder. Now you need to install this. So to install, just double click on this install button. All right, click on yes. And it should download everything like INE file and everything. So it have installed it for us to so click on any key to continue. So since the developer has left this uh, software update and INE I is like kind of outdated. So if you check on this RDP conf, um you will see some kind of error like this like listener state is not listening and it is not supported because the INE file should be updated all right and we need to update this so uh your INE file is located on c drive so let me show you where the INE is located so click on this plus icon on folder navigate this so click on this pc and then go to c drive and then you guys need to find program files. So this is the program files you need to click here and then try to find here RDP wrapper. So this one uh, folder you guys will need to navigate. And since to edit this file, you need to use permission. So you will really need to use the permission right now if you try to edit this or whatever and try to post this or save this. You can see it asks for you a permission and it doesn't let you even replace this. You can see if, if I try to replace this, it just doesn't work. You can see there, you didn't have permission to open this file. To edit this file, you need to uh, first copy this, all right? Copy this path. You can double click here and then uh, copy this, right click and copy this path and then open up the terminal run as administrator, all right? So right click on the start and then here is a terminal with admin. Okay, you need to click on admin and then click on yes. So we are on um, PowerShell with administrator privilege. I appear CD and colon and paste here by right clicking or control V to paste and close with colon and now enter this. Now if you type here DIR you can see that we have a file and we have access to INI okay now from here you, you need to type here is notepad since we are going to use notepad and then hit and tab button on your keyboard two times and you can access rdp wrap on dot INI and this is how it should look like your INI file okay so this is the thing that you will need to replace everything, um, every single code. So you need to delete this first. So click all and delete or backspace. So go to home base on GitHub. So 
just open the github.com and then type here rdp wrap dot ini and as you guys can see we have the updated this like four days ago this is what we wanted all right and then just you know like click on this file and then all you need to do is click on this rdp wrap.ini and it should open you and give you the code this is the code that you guys wanted to copy so to copy this simply click on this icon so copy raw contents and we have copied as you guys can see that we have copied this and go back to notepad this is the rdp wrap that we have opened from command prompt or powershell so right click to paste here and file and then save so once you guys have done this now go back to the rdp wrap now go back to this uh application and relaunch this and click on yes and you can see that right now it is supported now the another issue here is not listening so we can simply fix this by restarting your computer or you can still do this with command prompt so go back to command prompt that you have right now make sure that is running as administrator okay now type here net stop erm service okay so this is the command you guys will need to execute type here and yeah you guys wanted to type on y so remote access service is stopping right now so you can see that we have successfully stopped this now once again use the same command but now instead of stop you need to edit here and type here start okay and run this so you can see that now go back to this there we go boom there we go guys we have done this successfully now if you check uh, rdp this is a local rdp that just to test it out if it work or not so there we go guys it's working perfectly fine um i won't be able to log in this <laughs> so yeah um yeah guys so that's it this is how you should be fixing rdp for windows 11 home edition and it's that simple but you can also still see that uh, it's not enabled on this um ui so it doesn't matter but you have already working rdp right now so you can see this as well so if i try to connect this now it will show me some error because i haven't turned on my machine my network all right so we can close this configuration as well and that's it guys so thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video peace